Is it December? Is it December? I'm pretty sure it's not December. Is it December? No. Also, didn't we just have our swarming eve? I don't know. Are we in a time loop or something or some weird time gate open? Because it's not December, but we have a Heartswarming Eve episode. Help? I'm pretty sure it's never been December on Heartswarming Eve. We got really close one year, and they probably would have been that, but they had to change the schedule around for something. I can't remember what. Well, I'm Lux. And I'm Ember. And this is our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 6? Sorry. Recording that Sailor Moon episode messed up my numbering. My Little Pony, French Biz Magic, Season 6, Episode 8. A Heartwarming Tale. Surprisingly, both of us like this episode, even though I'm like, my major complaints are, it's not even near December, and can I get an unabridged version of this story? Because <laughs> it did not have enough impact for me. I'm like, I see what you're going for. But, yeah, you kind of missed the impact there. You needed more development. Could we have a two-episode special on this one? And I was less bothered by It's Not December Yet, because obviously it's winter in the MLP universe. That's good enough for me. But didn't we just have Heartswarming Eve? And these Heartswarming carols sounded a lot more Christmassy than the previous ones. So are these the more modern ones? Because they're all actually self-referencing, which the original Heartswarming Carols did not. If you listen to the play, the three ponies who were trapped together and shared stories and sang the same carols that we now sing today wouldn't have been self-referencing because the holiday didn't exist yet. Hmm. And I like the whole concept of, I'm gonna just get rid of the holiday. I'm gonna completely remove it with magic. Yes! <laughs> like, wow! You're even worse than Scrooge. You just, you wanted the holiday. Scrooge wanted the holiday gone. Kind of. He wanted the merriment gone because he was like, you're wasting time. Why are you wasting time? I want more money. You're wasting time. That also brings up the point of, wait a minute, her concept wasn't really a bad thing. <laughs> no, it wasn't. But getting rid of the entire holiday is more of a The Grinch Who Stole Christmas theme. So even though we had the obvious ploy of Snowfall being Scrooge, it also had elements of the Grinch. Mm hmm Speaking of the Grinch, reminded me of Christmas trees and Derpy as the tree topper. <laughs> Which is very cute. Yeah. Why didn't you draw that? Because Luna's badass, okay? <laughs> Agreed, but Derpy's cute. And at the time when I was thinking of what I wanted to draw, I didn't remember about Derpy, okay? I was like, okay. I know Starlight's the star of this episode, but I kind of already did Starlight too recently because she was the end of the last season. Hmm. Ah! Luna looks good in that costume. I'm gonna go with Luna. <laughs> but thank you for bringing up something else I should have drawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe you can draw it for a Christmas card for me this year. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go back to Snowfall here. I mean, just like, like the concept of what she's like, it's not a bad thing. But she's kind of taking it to the extreme. But I don't really like how the attitude of everyone else is like, Oh, how can Equestria be more perfect? I mean, really? I'm like, yeah, it can be. There's problems everywhere. Duh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which could very easily be pointed out by the fact of, Did Pinkie Pie just cure a cripple? Yeah, I, I think she did. <laughs> yeah, they kind of just gloss right over that, don't they? <laughs> but they had to fit in a Tiny Tim reference somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then there's the whole... Don't you mean present as in now? No, I mean presents! Duh! <laughs> Materialistic much, Pinky? But it was more the emotions behind giving the presents and not the presents themselves that she was talking about, so... Yes, but still is a very much focus on presents because... Oh, we can't do anything that will damage the toy line. <laughs> and after I finished watching this episode, I was like, wait a minute, where was Applejack other than the ghost? Oh, I get it. The characters who were the ghosts weren't actually actual people outside. Everyone's playing a different character. Okay. <laughs> and I think Rarity was supposed to represent, um, even though that's usually in the past version, but the guy that Scrooge used to work for. How on earth could Rarity possibly represent Scrooge's business partner? Not business partner. Guy they used to work for when he was younger. Oh, Fizzywig. Yes. <laughs> That or Fluttershy, one of those two, because they seem to be people that work together in a business, and they were friends with Rainbow Dash, so, you know, it felt kind of like that to me. 
but they put that in the present era instead of the past era because they only had one scene for the past era instead of all the stuff that Scrooge goes through. Yes, we only got one scene of, okay, this one instant is what made you what you are. We didn't cover your teen years at all in the trail of broken friendships and romance and the focus, you know, growing more and more to what you're focused on in the present. Mm-hmm. And going back to the ghosts, here we have why I'm drawing Luna. Luna as the ghost of heartwarming Eve yet to come. There are no heartwarming because you got rid of them. You done goofed. <laughs> yes, because you not only got rid of the holiday, but got rid of everyone's memory about it. Apparently no one can remember that they're supposed to be friends. So now the world is covered in snow and ice because the ice horses win. Wendigos. The last time I said Wendigos, you said I said it wrong, so I was going to just stick with ice horses. And yes, isn't that a dark thing, that we have this one holiday, and it's the entire reason that all of Equestria is not buried in snow. And it's why all the ponies are so friendly with each other. We must be friends, or the Wendigos are going to kill us. Mm, well, if you pretend something long enough, it eventually becomes true. Unless it's something physically impossible, but if it's an emotional thing... Yes, yes. Assume the attitude of prayer and the attitude becomes the prayer. I've never heard it phrased that way before. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you don't read Mercedes Lackey. Even though I'm bored to death of her, I still reread the old books just for the fun of nitpicking them apart. <laughs> Speaking of nitpicks, how many more do you have for this episode? <laughs> well, let's see. We got incredibly shortchanged on the past portion, which to me always felt like the most important because it had the most character building of the background of whichever character is being portrayed as Scrooge, since there's so many iterations of using this that, you know, it's basically a trope now. And it really seems unfair to forcibly drag Starlight into a party she doesn't feel like going to. It's like, oh, yeah, I think I'll just skip it. Oh, are you sure about that? All right, here, um, why don't you read these books uh, since you won't be joining us and then if you feel like joining us and slip that book onto the top of the stack and let her make her own decision instead of reading her a bedtime story and going hmm now based on the fact that the pony in this story almost screwed up as badly as you almost screwed up thank you for pointing that out spike <laughs> why don't you now come to the party and speaking of the reading, I really like the transitions back and forth between in-story and outer story And I also like the particular transition where she transitions back and Starlight goes, you're doing your Pinkie Pie voice. Oh, am I? <laughs> I didn't know I had a Pinkie Pie voice. <laughs> and that also reminds me of that great transition into what would be a commercial break, where Spike goes, can we take a break? I want to get some more hot cocoa. And everyone's like, don't take too long. And I'm thinking everyone's watching going, stupid commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. And then, um, canon. I know it would be very boring if every Heartswarming Eve was exactly the same, but it was established on the first Heartswarming that a play of Heartswarming Eve is traditional. So if it was Heartswarming Eve, why was nobody at a play? Hmm. Also, it's a time to spend time with friends and family and engage in those special traditions like putting your dolls up. The dolls did get mentioned in the story, but last Heartswarming Eve, the Pie and Apple family spin it together. And by the end of that, they were excited to spin the next one together. So why is everyone at Twilight's Castle? Also, I wanted to start singing Eureka's Castle right after I said that. <laughs> Though that reminded me of some also nice touches. Like, we see Vinyl and Octavia together again in the past and in the present. <laughs> We should say in the story and in the present. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like their outfits too in the story. I was like, well, that's neat. I love how Vinyl Scratch has a record player and she has these old type of earphones hooked up to it. <laughs> and I like the little rose glasses. Damn it, that's another thing I should have drawn. Problem is it takes too much time. Damn you! <laughs> I need more time to draw stuff, universe. Can you give me that? Next week. Why is there so much work? And where is that laughing coming from? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe you can draw it as a Patreon incentive. <laughs> Still time. <laughs> uh, speaking of Patreon, you can find it at the address in the description. 
I know that's for the end, but I thought I'd remind you. <laughs> we know not all of you stick around to the end. So, is there more? You know, nitpicks, of course. <laughs> of course. Yes, Snowfall is a powerful unicorn, but how is changing a rock into gold bettering Equestria? If you're working hard to better Equestria, what benefit does this have? Because you're basically creating money and you don't seem to be the philanthropic sort so you're not going to turn around and donate it to a charity or an orphanage and creating money causes inflation so there you go yeah so there's really no positive application to the spell you were working on though that they remind me of um someone pointed out that why was it rainbow dash as bob cratchit wouldn't it have been better to have it be fluttershy Interesting point, because Bob Cratchit is always portrayed as um, being more meek. And kind. Very kind. Rainbow Dash is a very brash and get-things-done kind of person. Probably wouldn't even put up with a Scrooge-like character. Except to get a paycheck, and she did leave before Snowfall could even finish saying, if you know you really want to waste your life like that, she just heard, you can leave, and took off. It was probably a shortcut to help keep the episode short because you don't have to deal with the complication of the relationship between Rainbow Dash and Snowfall in the same way that you would have had to if it was Snowfall and Fluttershy. Though if it was Fluttershy, I would actually have had Rainbow Dash play the nephew because the nephew has so much energy. Yes, but they didn't bother with the nephew. We didn't have enough time for the nephew. Mm -hmm. We didn't have enough time for Cratchit's family. We didn't have enough time for darker scenes of the present. This is why I also said that I want an unabridged version of this story, because there's a lot of interesting points that could have gone over, especially with all the characters and stuff like that. Especially Starlight as Scrooge does work, but we just need more time for it. <laughs> Her character development seems to get short shift that way. <laughs> And something I didn't notice on my own, I read it in comments somewhere. Rainbow Dash's dad off to the side there? Looks an awful lot like Rainbow Dash. Hmm. I remember seeing a comment about that for a preview of this episode, which I kind of ignored because I tried to ignore spoilers. <laughs> uh, timestamp, I think, was 21 minutes and 23 seconds. Hmm. Because it's near the end of the episode when they're back in the main hall. Um, the character's off to the left-hand side by Dr. Hooves. And looks a lot like Rainbow Dash. Well, I guess I need to watch this episode again sometime when I have more time. Or just shortcut to the timestamp, because unless your Patreon takes off, you're not going to have more time because you will still be doing too much other work. Mm -hmm. Plugging again, Patreon. Link in the comments. Okay. <laughs> so, think we're done? Mm -hmm. Well, I really enjoyed the episode. I like the concept. It just needed more time for me. Still an enjoyable episode. It's definitely one I would watch again. I'm probably going to watch it again during Christmas, <laughs> where it will actually probably have a little bit more emotional impact for me because I'll be more in the holiday spirit, as it were. Not that I'm not nice and give people presents all the time. I just like the overall feeling during that time. And then you have me who worked retail for so long that by the time Christmas gets here, I'm like, make it go away. Why are you playing Christmas carols? Make it stop. <laughs> Based on that, I was actually expecting you to react slightly differently to this episode. <laughs> uh. Because you're like, oh well, god. I nitpick the carols. <laughs> and, you know, I do like some traditional Christmas things. You know, I do own a copy of It's a Wonderful Life, which we should do a recording of sometime. I can nitpick that to pieces. I love it so much. <laughs> I really like the villain song, as it were. <laughs> it had some really nice dark tones to it. Yes, it did. I like all the singing in this episode. Most of the lyrics did not stick with me at all, so I don't think any of these is going to become the next winter wrap-up. Mm -hmm. Though that also reminded me of another little thing, a, a technical detail that I can almost completely forgot to mention. Luna has a different singing voice. Mm. So it's a different actress who's doing Luna's singing voice this time. I think it's actually usually the actress who plays Rarity who sings for her, but it's a different voice this time. Hmm. And this has been our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 6, Episode 8, A Hearse Warming Tale. Thanks for listening. If you want to be notified of new episodes, please subscribe. I would really enjoy that and would encourage us to continue to do more episodes. If you enjoy Lux's art, you can find more on DeviantArt and Tumblr. If you would like to support Lux's creative talent, 
you can check out his Patreon or check the link below for commission availability.